Good morning, ladies and gents. How you all doing today? I said, how are you all doing today? Good. Good. Uh, you may find by being in this course, I firmly believe in what I call the call and response tradition, where I say something and you say something back to me. So if I say, good morning, how are you doing? You say, good morning. that is so lame, but we'll move on. Uh, welcome to the Theater for Cultural and Social Awareness. How many of you guys have ever taken a theater class before? Excellent. Well, this class, I think, will be very different from any other theater class you've ever taken in your life. Not that I'm bragging, but that's what other students have told me in the past. The reality is theater for cultural and social awareness is considered a service learning experience, basically an outreach course, whereby you all will be focusing on techniques, theatrical techniques, improvisation, don't worry, we'll teach you, acting, performance, and by the end, you will also be developing skills in playwriting and directing. The goal of this course is to allow you all to be able to have what I would refer to as relatively difficult conversations about something I call sensitive subject matter. Now, short term, we call that SSM, but basically what sensitive subject matter means is a way to talk about all of the hot button issues, right? That we all have ideas and opinions about, but we don't know how to address them in a conversation, per se. Right, oftentimes we're afraid we don't want to look like an idiot or we don't want to appear racist or sexist or whatever the ism is, fill it in. Uh, we're going to give you a safe environment to have the conversation. And the good thing about that environment is that we won't judge any ideas that you all have. We'll give you skill sets to uh, perhaps own those ideas a little clearer and we'll challenge you in, in a sense as to why those ideas are important to you. Nine times out of ten, I guarantee you, there's going to be somebody in this class that will have the exact opposite idea or experience that you will have. The good thing is we'll try to create a space where the two of us can have a conversation, a genuine conversation where we can sort of let our hair down and really talk about what's important to us and why it's important to us. This whole process sort of started about, I'd say, about 12 years ago when I was a grad student. And I was crazy enough to think, well, I'm an actor. So that means I'm entering a profession that has a 95% unemployment rate. So that means only 5% of us actually use that skill set. I also thought I was kind of smart, right? I wanted to enter teaching. So I wanted to find a way to mesh that skill set of performance with this opportunity to talk about ideas that were important to me. As an African-American, youngest of three sons from the south side of Chicago, first to go to college, um, I've encountered quite a few experiences. Um, these experiences sort of helped shape me to be the guy that I am today, and it's important enough to me to try to create an environment where other students can be able to talk about the issues I wanted to talk about when I was your age. I'm not that much older, but I'm, I realize I'm getting older by the day, man. Had to make sure my hair was cut a little low so the bald spot wasn't showing. But anyway, so sensitive subject matter, what you can expect from this course. I think I talked a little bit about that, but I think a safe environment is ultimately the most important thing I think you can expect. What happens here stays here. Anything is fair game. I ask that you be prepared to articulate your particular ideas, but also own them in a way that you're not apologizing for them. You are who you are. You are a summation of your experiences that you've had up until this point. And guess what, folks? You're going to change, right? I'm a very different being than I was when I was your age. And I hope I'll be a different being when I'm a little older. More than likely, I hope a little more richer, but that's beside the point. Uh, what I expect from you all is for you to be open to new ideas. I want you to be able to be confident enough in what you think about and if, you're, if you have strong opinions about social justice. I want you to own them. But at the same time, I want you to be prepared to take input from another perspective that may totally rock your world, right? Give you a new idea, a new way of thinking about this content. If you can do those two things for me, I guarantee you we're going to have fun. I like to have fun. I'm not the kind of professor where I give you a ton of work. We do work hard, but we play hard as well. The end result, I think, is very rewarding because you all will finally have a chance to focus on ideas, contents, subject matter that are important to you. We'll get a chance to create plays about those ideas, and we'll create an environment where we can take what we've learned in this space and go out and share it with somebody else. Any questions?